Hey everybody, Schwazy here, and in today's video, we're gonna do a quick overview of the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek. We're gonna go over the exterior, interior, and then I'll talk about some of the important features that you should know about. So without further ado, let's get started. Now before we get started, I do wanna give a huge thank you to the Rocky Mountain Automotive Press for giving us the opportunity to review all of these vehicles. Now unfortunately, I didn't get all the vehicles in today's event on camera, but this was an awesome event, and I'm gonna put their information down down below so you guys can reach out to them if you have any questions and also a huge thank you to the manufacturers and press vehicles that were out at today's event for giving us the opportunity to sit behind the wheel and really test drive these vehicles okay so in case you haven't had enough regular run-in-the-mill crossovers turned into big off-road vehicles. Well, Nissan decided to join the bandwagon with this 2023 Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek Edition. So the Rock Creek is essentially the off-road tuned or off-road oriented crossover Pathfinder. And this is gonna be hitting dealership lots here in the fall. So uh, what are the changes? What is included in the Rock Creek Edition? Well, first off, you do get an off-road tuned suspension. So this thing is tuned a little bit better than the standard Pathfinder, which is already somewhat capable off-road maybe not as capable as the generations before it but it is still a somewhat capable off-roader but you also get what Nissan calls an intelligent 4x4 system now keep in mind this vehicle does not come with lockers or a low range so it is capable but it's not something you really want to take on any rock crawling or any severe terrain something that you would take like a Wrangler or a Bronco this is something that, you know you take on washboard roads or some a little bit adventurous and uh, it's kind of an, an overlanding rig more so than a big off Roader. You do get a roof rack when you get the Rock Creek Edition and it's got a pretty cool design to it with that kind of indent going near the back. You also get more rugged tires. Now these are open country all-terrain tires but they're a little bit more rugged and these are not beadlock capable but beadlock simulated wheels I guess. They're meant to resemble a beadlock wheel even though they are not beadlock capable. Now one advantage of the Nissan Pathfinder over some other off-roaders is the fact that this thing can tow up to six thousand pounds that's pretty big for a crossover suv so that's a major advantage of the pathfinder over some of the competition now another advantage of the rock creek edition is this comes with about a 0.6 inch lift compared to the regular pathfinder you also get an available two-tone exterior for the rock creek edition which is a nice touch and i do like how they added this kind of black molded plastic over here up top separated with the red paint color down below it really does look really nice in this red color now the front grille has also been revised to give it a little bit more rugged look to it and same with the front bumper as well so it's a little bit more off-road oriented although you do have fake vents over here but that's kind of standard amongst a lot of different vehicles now let's talk about what's under the hood now this does not have any hood struts so you have to use that little peg but this is the same v6 engine that comes on the regular pathfinder and even on the infinity qx60 although it's tuned a little bit different on this one it actually produces 295 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque on premium which which is slightly higher than the base engine on the Pathfinder. Now this is mated to a conventional nine speed automatic. So the CVT is gone and that's part of the reason why it can tow up to 6,000 pounds. In terms of fuel economy, you're looking at 21 in the city and 27 on the highway. Okay, now let's show off the interior, which does have a little bit of a different look than just your conventional Pathfinder. You do have this contrast stitching here in orange. This is actually all a soft touch material, which surprises me for a vehicle of this class. This is also leather uh, and you have a kind of a cool design to it over here on the door panel and this kind of fake gunmetal aluminum. Now coming to the seat, also a really well-designed seat. You've got Rock Creek written over here. These are leather seats as well. Um, this is actually a cloth material, but the side bolstering is leather. Uh, looks really nice in this configuration. And I really do like that orange contrast stitching that kind of outlines the seat. Now jumping inside, for the most part, it is your conventional uh, Pathfinder look. You do have, I believe this is a seven or eight inch display. It does look a little bit small, but nonetheless, that is kind of standard for vehicles of this class. You have your climate control down here. Uh, coming further down, you have your shifter, which works pretty well. It's got uh, a nice leather wrap to it. And then there's no wireless charging here, which really surprises me because I think some other competitors, especially if you're doing off-roading, uh, wireless charger would be nice. And one thing to point out about the screen, this does not have GPS. And so I think that's a, a big miss because a lot of times when you're going off-roading, even though you obviously aren't navigating to, to any spot, you can zoom out and kind of see where the main road is and maybe 
you take the path to get back to the road. That's just been my experience off-roading. So I do wish they had that. Although this does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now coming further down, you got your cup holders, you got your electronic parking brake, and then these are your drive modes. Now, let me turn the vehicle on real quick. You do have a somewhat digital display over here. And as a result of this being the Rock Creek, you do have different drive modes. So you do have mud ruts and sand. So that should enable the four wheel drive system to work better in those conditions. Again, you don't have a four wheel drive low or a locker. You do have Rock Creek over here, really nice leather padding, um, and then just a nice compartment. And then the passenger side is just as nice. Again, leather wrap, this is hard touch plastic, but again, that's normal for a vehicle of this price range. I do like the 360 degree camera. Camera, that's really nice. It is nice to see exactly what's going on around the vehicle. Now, jumping to the back, a big advantage of this is you can get seating for up to seven passengers. Uh, that is a big advantage of having a longer vehicle like this, and not very many other off-roaders have that. Um, these are really nice seats as well. You do have cloth mixed with that leather. Back here, you do have your own climate control with USB ports, and then this little cubby over here, which is removable if you choose to, and that way you kind of have a captain's chair set up. You do have more vents at the top. No sunroof on this option either. So there's that. Let's go to the cargo area area and show you what that looks like. It actually is an automatic open, but it does kind of have like a dampened close. So if you shut it, it will kind of suction cup the uh, tailgate, but or the lift gate, I should say. But back here, uh, not too much space with the seats up, but with the seats down, you do have quite a bit of room and you got this kind of nice hard plastic material, uh, just a more durable material that comes with this Rock Creek edition. But with that, let's talk about pricing. Now, Nissan hasn't exactly announced the pricing for this vehicle, but based on the amenities it comes with, it's likely gonna sit between forty dollars to $45,000. So let me know your thoughts on the Nissan Pathfinder Rock Creek. Are you tired of crossovers adding cladding and becoming off-road vehicles, or is this a vehicle you would actually shop for? There are definitely benefits here with seven passenger seating and some additional off-road amenities that you don't get on the standard Pathfinder. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, everybody, I hope you stay schwazy, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.